Do you want to make a cool interactive end screen to go at the end of your YouTube videos like this one? Let's make one together. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an end card template using Canva, adding that end card to the end of your video, and then adding the end screen elements to your videos on YouTube. Let's get started. So first we're gonna jump into Canva and create a new design. So we wanna create a file that's the same dimensions as our video. So that's gonna be 1920 by 1080 pixels. And then we're gonna hit create design. I already have another file that I created. So I'm gonna jump to that and you'll see it is also blank or here's a blank page, right? Now, when you're designing your end card, my recommendation is to make sure that you are on brand. Canva has a bunch of photos and elements and backgrounds that you can use, but you definitely want to make sure that you have a cohesive brand on your channel banner and your YouTube thumbnails and all of that. So that's what I would recommend. But just to show you an example, I'm going to create something simple here. I'll select this marble background and I like to include calls to action on my end card. So I already know that I'm going to direct people to watch another video, watch this next. So I'm gonna add some text and I'm going to kind of change the fonts accordingly. I'm gonna go through this really quickly just to guys, give you guys an idea. Now, I already know I'm going to add the end screen element of this specific video that I wanna refer them to, towards the left. And that's why I'm gonna position the text towards the left. I also know that I'm going to put the subscribe button right here towards the middle. So I'm going to, um, there probably isn't gonna be any room. So let me make this a little bit smaller and then I'm going to duplicate this and then drag this to the bottom and then change this to subscribe. And that's where I'll put the subscribe button. You could also add your website URLs, your social media handles. I'm actually going to add my social media handles. So I'll jump into elements here and then search for Facebook and grab that icon. I'll also search for Instagram and grab that icon and then just size them accordingly towards the corner here. And then I'm going to add my social media handle. So drag that towards here and change that to my social media handle. And let's make sure that it fits. Boom, boom, bam. All right, so this is just kind of an idea, but I've already created an end card that's on brand for my channel that looks like this. So you can see I have my background image here. I have this call to action for watch this next, the subscribe call to action, and then my social media handles. So once you're finished, what you wanna do is hit publish, then download, and then you're gonna select the page that you want to download. For me, it's page four, hit done, and then click download. Now, once that saves to my computer, I'm gonna open up my video editor. And here, this is iMovie and I have a blank project right now and I'm gonna just drop in this sample footage, okay? So pretend this is an absolutely perfect video, I'm totally done with it. And I want to have the end here be the end screen that shows up at the end, right? So uh, I'm actually gonna cut this right there. And this is actually the end screen that I showed you during the intro of this video. So here's how you add the end, the end card to your video. You import the image to your video editor, and then you're just gonna drag that into the timeline. And then you're going to add the video on top of that, okay? So the first thing you wanna do, actually, let me back step iMovie does this Ken Burns effect by default. So you want to take that out so that your image isn't moving in the back, right? And then you're going to drag this on top and you're going to extend the image length to be the same length of the video that you put on top, right? So there we go. And then the other thing is that we want to adjust this second layer so that it's picture in picture. So when you click on the video, you're going to hit this icon here, which is video overlay settings. And then you're going to go to picture and picture. Now this is, this part is going to vary depending on your video editing program. You don't have to do this in Final Cut Pro, which is why I use now. You just kind of drag the corner just like this. Um, but anyway, you want to resize this accordingly. 
in your Canva image, you could put like a square or a rectangle that you could just, you know, position this to be in. So it's gonna look something like this. Blah, blah, blah. So that's the end card, right? And when we export this video, we can add the end screen elements on top of that, which is what we're gonna do. So let me head on over to YouTube. And uh, I'm actually just gonna use the video that I used for this intro. So here, you're gonna see end screen. So you're gonna click on that and you'll see that I've already added the subscribe end screen and I've already linked to another video, but let me just delete these and show you exactly how I did it, right? So the image is already in the video because we added it directly. Now you can use these templates here, but I like to just click on elements and then position them accordingly. So the first thing I'll put in is the subscribe button. If anyone clicks this, um, it'll get them to subscribe to my channel. So I'm gonna position this circle to just be right on top of the subscribe text. And then the next thing I'll add is another video for them to watch. So I'm going to click on choose specific video. That's gonna pull up my library and allow me to select a video. I'm gonna select this one since it's a Canva tutorial, which is similar to this one. And you'll see it just goes right on top of watch this next, right? So if you wanna preview what that looks like. So you'll see that they don't, they don't come um, at the right time. And that's because you can only add end screen elements to the last 20 seconds of your video. So you wanna make sure that your end screen isn't longer than the last 20 seconds. Otherwise you can't make these longer than that. You can obviously make them shorter, as short as uh, five seconds but that's why they don't appear right away. And they look like this. So you can hover over this, you can hover over this and you can click on it and it will take you to those areas accordingly. Now that you know how to use Canva to create an end screen template, you can also use Canva to create custom thumbnails for your YouTube videos. And custom thumbnails can really increase the traffic that you get on your content. So if you wanna learn how, check out this video next.